Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new. My name is Sarah, also known as Laugh Love Langella. And in today's video, I'm going to share with you guys how I decided to style our guest bedroom for the early fall season. I apologize in advance, we have an impromptu thunderstorm, so the lighting is really rough. You're gonna hear some thunder in the background. I'm just trying to get this out there. Um, as you guys have seen on Instagram and YouTube, my grandma unfortunately passed away recently. Um, it was very sudden. We were not expecting that. Um, so much family was able to be there. I'm thankful that I lived close enough that I was able to just drive right over and be there for her. And so thank you guys. I, I've gotten so many messages and prayers from you all. And I appreciate it so much. It's really, um, it's an unfortunate situation, but it's a nice reminder of the community that we're building here together to know how we all care for each other and how we get to know each other. And I just wanted to say thank you guys so much for your kind messages, so much for your prayers for our family. Um, I'm doing okay. I just, it comes and goes in waves as we all know. And so I'm grateful for all the time that I had with both of my grandparents and grateful for all the friendly reminders I have of them around my home. So, um, <laughs> sorry. On that note, if you missed my early fall master bedroom decorate with me, I posted that last week and our bed frame is actually from my grandparents, which is such a special moment. And these are the matching nightstands and I have the matching dresser in here. So it's, it's kind of funny in a sense. I don't know if that's the appropriate word. Um, that this is what I'm decorating right now. And it's a nice little reminder that they're always here with me and our family. So so in case you guys missed that video, I will have it linked in the description below so you can check it out. It's really fun to be able to decorate two master bedrooms so that way you guys can get two different ideas of how you could style your spaces. The master bedroom was a very brown beige with pops of color in it. It was nice and cozy, lots of texture. I'm definitely keeping things a little bit more simple in here just because we're not using it on a regular basis, but I still want it to look beautiful and special for our guests when they come visit us. So I will have the other video linked in the description and we'll get started in here. So the reasoning that I really don't film in this room is not because I don't want to, it's because my husband's office is actually part of this room as well. So I'm not going to be sharing that side of the room. It is very large. It's technically larger than our master bedroom, but with the layout of the house, how the closet situations are and everything, it doesn't make sense for this room to be our room, if that makes sense. So. It's really a great space when our guests come visit. Now, I know I'm gonna get a lot of questions about where our bed frame is from. It, this actually used to be in our master bedroom. So this was the bed that we got um, when my husband and I first moved in together. It is from Wayfair. I do not recommend it at all, so I will not be linking it. I think the quality of it was really poor for how much it was. Um, just being totally honest with you guys, I never want to lie <laughs> when it comes to anything. So um, this used to be in our bedroom. So if you look at some of my older videos, you will actually see this in our bedroom styled. So it's a really great way to, to be able to show how you can style a, um, upholstered bed frame versus a wood one you can still use the same elements and it'll look great it's all personal preference but um yeah i i still love the look of the bed just not happy with the quality of it but i'm gonna add these beautiful dark green pillows these were older from pottery barn And now we're gonna add this gorgeous pillow. I got the cover off of Etsy. And if you wanted a cheaper equivalent-esque of this, 
Target actually came out with this pattern print. Obviously this one is a larger print than that one is, but you can get that same designer look on a budget. This one I think was only 20. Yeah, this one was $20. And I wanna say that I paid like 60 something for this pillow cover. I will say the craftsmanship on this is absolutely beautiful. This one does not have a removable cover. So just keep that in mind if you're looking to do the Target one. So we're gonna add this beautiful knit blanket. This is another Castelluna one, just in a different color. So we have this same one on our bed in the master bedroom right now, but I love to incorporate this for fall. You could technically use it all year round too. I always love to add a throw blanket to our bedding, no matter what season it is. It just brings in so much texture and adds a cozy element to the space. This is my go-to knit one from Casaluna. I have four colors of this blanket already and love it. Now we're gonna add this black handled planter. This was from Studio McGee at Target and I spray painted it black. And to that, we're gonna add those beautiful magnolia branches. Um, I love the brown detail here and it helps pull in the color of the throw blanket with the florals so it makes it a cohesive space. I absolutely love these magnolia stems. They are definitely one of my favorite faux florals I've had for quite some time now, and I love that I can use them all year round. It fits no matter the season, depending on how I decorate around it, what extra stems or filler bush I add, and they always look great. And now I'm going to add these brass pine cones I found at an antique store. And now I'm going to be doing the same planter and florals on the other side. And lastly, adding an acorn from Hobby Lobby. I like to keep things super simple on the dresser. This horse statue was also from my grandparents. Every time we would visit them growing up, I always raved about this horse. And they said when I was older, they would be happy to send it off to me. And I'm so thrilled that it's in our home now. And this lamp is older from Target. And on the right side, I'm going to add that DIY vase with some blue thistle stems. And the final touch is adding this wicker pumpkin from Target last year, because why not? And here is a finished look at the space.
So that is going to wrap up today's video, friends. I sure hope that you enjoyed and got some decorating ideas and inspiration. Again, if you missed my early fall master bedroom video, I will have that linked down below for you to check out. That way you have two different ideas to bounce off of no matter what your decorating preference is. You can relate to one or both of them. Again, thank you all so much for your kind messages and prayers and patience with me with this uploading and everything during this time. I really, really appreciate it so much and it means a lot to me and my family. As always, thank you guys so much for hanging out with me here today and I will see you in my next video. Bye.